JWL Sports, where we review all the best sports clips from around the world. If this is your first time checking out a video, please don't forget to subscribe. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're watching a clip of First Take with Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith talking about the travesty of the All-Star game for the, for the NBA. I mean, it was ugly, boring, dumb, stupid. There was just no silver lining, no positives, no nothing. And to me, there's only one solution to fixing this all. And I'm really curious if they um, talk about it and what they have to say with regards to it. It seems like this was universally unliked. And to me, like I said, th the answer is very obvious. Um, but I'm just curious to see if they um, talk about it. So let's just jump right into it to unpack from this weekend. So although it was a record setting night of scoring in the East to 211 186 win over the West, the NBA All Star game did not deliver the competitive product stressed for months by Commissioner Adam Silver. All Star MVP Damian Lillard with his thoughts on whether the competitiveness can be fixed. I think something could be done about it. Um, I'm not sure what, but I think it. Not sure there's what. a way for to to make it a more competitive game. I don't think anybody's going to play in it like it's the playoffs, but it's a way to to get guys to come to the table and, and just play a more solid game, I guess. Um, but I did think it was a good game. You know, anytime the crowd is is engaged and you're hearing oohs and ahs, and, but it was just oh too many God. probably leak out, you know, go get a dunk, go get a layup type of moments. And I think if we can just limit those, um, you know, people probably wouldn't feel the way they feel sometimes about it. I don't know. I mean, I think it's something we need to figure out. Um, you know, I don't know where's the median because this is what this is what a lot of the games are starting to look like now. Two eleven. Yeah, the games are two hundred eleven points right now. That's what it, you know, Even. almost four hundred points combined. Stephen A. Is this All Star game fixable? No, not as present and constructive. Shannon Sharp, I'm of this mindset right now. They need to do away with All-Star Weekend. Just get rid of it. The whole like, weekend? Let, not, no, no, no. Let me finish. The three-point okay. shooting contest, I'm totally good with. The three-point shooting contest, not just Steph Curry and UNESCO, who were fabulous, but the overall three-point shooting contest never cheats us, never disappoints us. They're going out there, they shoot, they're trying to make shots. There's nothing wrong with the three-point. I'm talking about the skills competition. I'm talking about the slam dunk competition. And I'm talking about the All-Star Game. Let me start with the All-Star Game. Ladies and gentlemen, what transpired last night was an absolute travesty. Nearly 400 points were scored. No defense, no effort whatsoever. This is the ultimate indictment against the NBA stars who show up on NBA All-Star Weekend. You play harder <laughs> in the summer league when you're training. That's all anybody's asking. We all know that when you're playing in the summertime and stuff like that, ain't nobody trying to get hurt. But you still give one another effort because you're working on your game. You can give the fans at least that. Nobody's asking you to compete like you're going up against the playoffs or even a regular season game. But when you are working out in the summertime, Shannon, you know this, okay? Yes. You see guys giving effort in the summertime. That's all I'm saying. To that degree, that is not hard. The fact that you will go out there and flagrantly show such a lack of effort on the defensive side of the ball in any capacity is, a, is just a travesty. Now, if you want to sit up there and look at the fact that the kids are there to watch you, that's fine because they may not care. But anybody that knows basketball does, and we know it's a flagrant lack of effort and it's embarrassing, and we know if money was on the line, you'd be giving more effort even though you're already getting paid hand over foot. It's really a travesty. Let me go to the slam dunk contest. Now, this is where I blame your boy, LeBron James, Shannon Sharp, not for the All-Star game, but for the slam dunk contest. He's never participated. He is the only superstar, above-the-rim superstar in the history of the game who did not participate in the, all in the slam dunk contest. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about the decision that he's made over the years. And what that has done is provoked a lot of cats on to come up to not participate in the slam dunk contest either. And now we've got a G-leaguer who is a back-to-back -back slam dunk champion. 
props to Jalen Brown for participating, not caring about what people were going to say or how it looked. He went out there and he competed because you need names in the slam dunk contest. And I applaud him in every way imaginable for participating. But the others that chose not to participate, you're trying to tell me we wouldn't want to, we wouldn't want to see an Anthony Edwards in a slam dunk contest? You're trying to tell me when Ja was healthy and in an all-star game, we would not have wanted to see Ja Morant in the all-star game? Of course we would want to see stuff like that. Shannon, so, I call for... So, okay. So let's um, unpack this a bit. LeBron James is to blame for not only the slam dunk contest, but also the all-star game as well. I'm not going to put it all on him, but he is a major contributor of the problem as well as the face of the problem because he's the face of the NBA. People look to him. People follow his lead. Um, and he was. He, he did the type of stuff that was so obnoxious where he did this like years ago where he wasn't doing the slam dunk contest, but instead he just videotaped himself. You know, he recorded himself um dunking and doing a whole series of dunks at practice and then like posted it on like social media or something and it was like pretty much saying like i could be in the dunk contest and that would be great but i'm not gonna do it i mean it's just like that's how insecure he is that he's like too afraid to do a slam dunk contest and like maybe not win or something or fail of some sort right like it's just it's just embarrassing it really really is and again the lack of trying there was there was this a uh, highlight going around of kobe versus um lebron in the one all-star game and you can see kobe playing so hard trying so hard and lebron just like getting owned essentially right and then just like from that point on it's always just been like yeah we're just chilling we're hanging out and this idea that they can't fix it and i hate that damian lillard says oh well you know um i think the fans kind of enjoyed it there's a lot of oohs and ahs like get the heck out of here man no one enjoyed that game oh did a bunch of seven-year-olds enjoy it okay congratulations all right i mean seven-year-olds can enjoy literally anything anyone who has a five six seven-year-old in their life knows that it's not that hard to entertain them okay it's not that hard um so it's just the solution is simple it's on the players to care to actually care, to want to put on a better show, to put on more effort. That's who it's on. It, there's there's no other way around it. It's not money incentivizing them. They already make hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars collectively. Money is not the problem here. And then other people are saying, well, what about making the um, you know, the winner of the game? It matters now for a uh, home, you know, home court advantage in the finals. And I say, screw that, because then that takes away from the regular season. It shouldn't come down to that. That's, that's not the way it should be. That's, that's nonsense. That's BS. So if, like, you know, some team like the Denver Nuggets are the number one seed by, like, 10 games, but the, but the East won the All-Star game, that means, like, they don't get home court advantage? Like, no, get out of here. That's ridiculous. It's on the players to actually care. I can't, I'm going to say this again and again and again. If you ever watch Mad Men, um, there's such an amazing line where, um, you know, Don Draper, John Hamm <clears throat> is talking to Peggy Olsen, uh, the one woman, and she's like, you know, they're fighting over who gets credit for making commercials. And, you know, he's like, she's like, you know, you take you, you take my ideas and, 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 you know, make them your own and you get all the credit for it. Um, and he's like, you know, that's part of the job. You give me ideas and then I, you know, a little kernel of an idea and he goes, and I turn it into a commercial, into something that actually matters and an ad. And she's like, but you never say thank you. And he screams back, that's what the money's for. It's one of the best lines in like all of TV. I think about that line all the time. That's what the money's for. That's what they're getting paid for. That's why they're getting paid such insane amount of money. It's just insane to think about how much money they're getting paid. And they see the All-Star Weekend as like, you know, time off, which is just absurd because they already get plenty of time off, right? They get months off. And like Stephen A pointed out, and it's very true, is that they, they do, they try harder in pickup games. 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds play harder on the street. I grew up playing harder basketball on my driveway, you know, I mean, I just did. So this idea that they can't put in any effort or they're afraid to get hurt, that's nonsense. 
That is BS too. This idea that it's like, well, they're, they're being real extra easy because of injury risk. That's nonsense. Because anyone who has ever seen these guys ball on uh, 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 that logic, then then they shouldn't even then they would be playing like this during the regular season as well, right? They would really just like not be playing that hard during the regular season, which some people argue that that's the case, but it's obviously not this. And again, they play harder in pickup games. For those of you who don't know, they play a lot of basketball with each other in the off season, during the summer and and whatnot, um, both indoors and outdoors, because they all got courts outside. Um, they all ball. That's what they do. They ball. So this idea that it's just, you know, they need to be more incentivized. That's BS. How about have some respect and love for the game? How about feeling like you owe something to the fans? And that's why you make all this money. That's why you exist. This idea, there's always this been this back and forth between, you know, the fans, right? And this idea where they're like, well, we play for the fans or we don't play for the fans, right? You always have like the one fan that says like, I pay your salary. And it's like, no, you don't, you know? But the reality is, is it does all come down to the fans. This is an entertainment business industry. It's all about what's entertaining. That's what it's all about. If it's not entertaining, then there people aren't watching, then there's no money. That's why. Why does the WNBA not make a lot of money? Why does women's softball not make a lot of money? Why does major league, well, you know, um, women's soccer make a lot less money? Because people don't watch it as much. So there's less fans there, less fan engagement, less fans spending money on tickets and, and watching the game. So for advertising dollars and buying merchandise, so they make less money. So it is all comes down to fans. If, if the fans didn't watch the NBA, LeBron James wouldn't be worth what he's worth. Okay. They would have to maybe be playing overseas or they would have to be doing another job entirely. So this idea that they don't feel that they owe a show, a good product to the fans is absurd. And then I always hate the BS lip service that we get from a lot of these professional athletes, both NBA, football, everything. They always, you'll hear them say, it's about the fans. That's nonsense. None of these players play for the fans. None of them do. They play for themselves. They play for themselves to make their money, which is fine. Hey, good, good, get your money. I'm not judging that. Um, and they play for their family, right? To make money for their family, to provide. And they play because they also want to. LeBron James plays because he, LeBron James, him, he already has all the money in the world. He does not have to make any more money in his family. The LeBron James family will never, ever need to work a day in their lives. The amount of money that they make just off of interest alone that their kids, 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 kids forever. They will never have to work ever again. And not only will they never have to work again, but they will also be able to afford the private jet lifestyle. So they won't have to like cut corners on anything. They never have to work again. So it's not about making more money. Not about that. It's not about for his family, trying to prove this or that. He wants to play because he has goals, personal individual goals that he wants to accomplish which again is completely fine. But then don't lie to us and say that it's for the fans and then give that bootleg effort out there because it's nonsense. It's just not true. And if it wasn't about the money and if it wasn't about that, take a pay cut. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine if LeBron James took a $20 million uh, salary? What type of team the Lakers would be able to build? An amazing team, that's what. So this whole idea, and that goes for any player, not just LeBron James. So this whole idea that um you know again we have to incentivize these players or that the the all-star game because it even says right is the all-star game fixable it's implying that it's broken the game is not broken the game is still the game the players are broken okay they make so much money they are so spoiled they um just believe that they are kings of the world and they're entitled i mean that's really what it comes down to they don't think they owe anything to anyone in fact it's the opposite it's do you know how much you owe me do you know what i do for the nba do you know what i do for this world look what i do and that's not what it's about it's just not so i think it's pretty sad quite honestly i mean i was i was actually watching the weekend i was with my parents and even my mom was like this is and my dad were like this is so stupid you know that's how you know you have a bad product because something like the all-star game typically is supposed to not only 
engage the fans, the true fans of the game that are like, this is awesome. Yes, I love basketball. I, I live and die for it. And then also the more casuals that just want to see something fun and exciting. It's why something like the Super Bowl is so popular because people who don't know anything about football can still watch it, can still enjoy it, can enjoy the the pageantry of it all, the excitement, the big moments, the replays, the hard hits, the exciting runs. They can enjoy it. That's why it's so massive and so big. And it's not to say that the NBA All-Star Game can become the Super Bowl, but it has to be a lot better than whatever the heck it is right now. And that's the reality. But what do you all think? Would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this one. Do you think the All-Star Game is fixable do you think that this is just what it is do you think i'm being too hard on the players would love to hear your thoughts um and as i said before please don't forget to subscribe we are building an amazing community here and i would absolutely love to see you part of it i want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to something that we're really excited to be part of and i think we're well on our way to doing it and i read every single comment so if you think what i'm saying is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard let me know in the comments below if you think what i'm saying is the most amazing thing then definitely please let me know Either way, let's get into some discussions. Let's get into some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. Um, so thanks again and see you next time.